What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna, AKA Mini Marley, and today I am back with another hairstyle, but this time it's with All Things Hair. So if you guys remember last year, I was doing some exclusive videos for All Things Hair, and I am back with them again, this time for something that we are calling the Style It On series. So if you've been out of the loop, basically the Style It On series, the series where each month, some of your favorite YouTubers get the chance to create a look. It's a challenge, and we have to come up with a look that matches a specific topic so we've already done braids which is when I created that goddess braid and we also did updos and I just had that video posted on the all things hair YouTube channel so if you're missing out on those exclusive natural hair tutorials then definitely go over to the all things hair YouTube channel and subscribe because I will be posting videos there every month but for this week I wanted to show you guys a special video inspired by fashion week so fashion week was this past week and I was looking at a couple of the hairstyles I was just getting inspired and I wanted to come up with a different kind of look for my channel so basically the Alice and Olivia show just happened and it was sponsored by Tresemme so today I'm gonna be using a few of my own Tresemme products and I'm gonna be showing you guys my take on the hairstyle that went down the Alice and Olivia runway so basically they created these messy fishtail braids and I wanted to come up with my own spin on that look so if you want to see how to create this style then definitely stay tuned for the rest of this tutorial and if you want more exclusive natural hair tutorials from me then go over to all things hair and subscribe to their channel and visit their website all right let's get into this tutorial so I'm starting this style with stretched out hair. I basically washed my hair last night and then I did the banding method, which is basically when you tie your rubber bands or scrunchies around your hair just the way that I have them here and it stretches it out. So my hair is pretty much almost dry and as you can see, it's nice and stretched. So I'm just taking them out now so we can go ahead and start this style. So this is what my hair looks like when they are all out nice and stretched. And I'm just gonna take my tail comb and part my hair directly down the center. You wanna make sure that you get a nice, clean, straight part. So this is what mine looks like from the front and this is what it looks like from the back. Okay, so I went ahead and completed my first braid off camera and now we're gonna go ahead and work on the second one. So the first thing that I'm gonna do on this side is just go ahead and take this down and I'm using the first product which is the Tresemme Extra Hold Gel. This is really great because it resists humidity so it keeps my style in place all day without leaving my hair looking sticky or wet. So I'm basically just smoothing that over my hair making sure that I get it everywhere and then I'm gonna take my brush and smooth it out making sure that everything lays nice and flat, nice and sleek, get those waves coming in and now I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my scrunchie to secure this section nice and tightly. Make sure that your hair still feels comfortable though and it's not really pulling on your edges. Next, you're gonna divide this section up into three parts as if you are gonna do a braid. So three nice even parts. And then I'm gonna clip two of those parts away and we're gonna start working on the first one. So for this style, you're gonna need a pack of braiding hair and I recommend that you get braiding hair that matches your hair. You can get any brand of hair, it doesn't matter. I just picked up one from my local beauty supply store. And you're gonna divide that up into three sections. So for the first section, I'm just gonna make sure that I pull the ends of this hair. This is just a trick so that when you start braiding with the hair and you get to the ends, it's not blunt, but you can just go all the way down to the ends, if that makes sense. So now I'm just attaching this to my first section of hair. Now this can be a little tricky, but you basically just apply the hair to the root of that section where you have your little section divided up into three parts as if you were gonna start a braid. And one of those parts is not gonna have hair so you're just gonna braid it for a little while and then you're gonna borrow hair from each side and continue braiding so I'm gonna show you that a little bit closer up but this is what you're gonna do you're gonna braid it down about this far and just clip it out of the way and move on to the next section so I just added more braiding hair to this next section and I'm braiding it down as well and then I'm just gonna clip that away and start on the last section 
Okay, so for the last section, as you can see, I have it divided up into three parts. So when I attach the braiding hair, one side will have hair, the middle side won't have hair, and the other side will have hair. So I'm just gonna start braiding it like that just a couple times to secure this to my hair. And at that point, it should look something like this. And now we need to add hair to that middle section. So we're just gonna borrow a little bit of braiding hair from each side. And once you've done that, it should look something like this. So now that we have braiding hair in each of the three sections, we can continue braiding all the way down. So that's pretty much how you add the braiding hair in. It can be a little bit tricky at first, but just practice it and you will definitely get it. So now that we have the hair braided all down about three or four inches, we're just gonna braid these three braids together. Make sure that they're even on both sides and then we're just gonna take a little piece of hair, any one, it doesn't really matter, and you're just gonna wrap that around all three braids to make sure that that doesn't move and that your hair doesn't unravel. So now with the little end that's left out after you wrap it, just go ahead and pull that into this braid that we're about to create right now. This is just a regular braid. The hard part is all done. You're just gonna braid the rest of this hair all the way down to the ends. Don't worry about braiding it tightly. Just go ahead and braid that loosely to the ends. And I just applied a bobby pin to the end while I work on fixing up this braid the way I want it to look. So as you can see, I'm just fixing up the top. And now I'm just pulling little sections of this braid just to go ahead and loosen it up because we want to create a more messy look so I'm just pulling it all over to create a really messy look this might take a little while and just keep working at it until you get the look that you want so now they're pretty much matching and everything looks about even the last thing that I'm doing is just taking this little piece of braiding here and I'm just wrapping it around the base of my pigtail and I'm just making sure that I cover up the part where we added the braid because you don't want to see that kind of bump where where we added the braiding hair to our real hair. So just wrap that around. And I really like the way this looks. It gives a nice high fashion look anyway, and we're hiding that braiding hair. So to finish up this style, I'm just going with my Tresemme Trust 2 Extra Firm Control Mousse. And I love this mousse because it's very light on the hair, but it really gives me maximum hold and control without it being too stiff or sticky. And I want this style to last, so I'm just going to smooth that over the base of my hair so that I can make sure that it is nice and secure all day. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of my Tresemme Extra Hold Gel and I'm just gonna lay these edges a little bit with my toothbrush. And then, of course, you guys know the drill. I'm just gonna tie this down for a few minutes and let it set and dry. And when I take it off, this is how nice and smooth my hair looks. So this is my finished runway ready look. It's definitely different, but I love how high fashion and dramatic it is, and I will definitely be rocking it for the rest of the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a little bit different, very long, and just a little bit more high fashion, but I love switching out my look, you guys know that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can follow along. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and the All Things Hair channel. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.